Yo, I'ma be real with y'all. I could take your woman if I wanted her. Straight up. Now I know what you about to say. You about to get all emotional and egotistical talking about you can't take my girl. You ain't got no money. You broke. You you got them funky dreads and all the rest of that stuff. My old lady, my young lady, she wouldn't want you. Yeah, okay. That's what you think. That's what you believe. And that's your problem. You see, you see the physical, even though I'm beautiful. But you see the physical. Yeah, true indeed. I'm 5'8". I'm not tall, dark, and handsome. You see the physical. It's not about the physical, my man. It's about catering towards that, per that woman's emotions. It's about treating her like a woman. Making her feel like a woman. And that's where you lack at. And that's where I come in at. So I could take your woman if I wanted her. <laughs> you see, I come to your, your woman's house, I pull out. It's right here, it's foot spa. Do her feet. Then after that, Give a bath. Take some rosemary, real rosemary. Put it in a pot and boil it. Put that in the bath water. Take some Himalayan pink salt, rock salt. Put that in the bath water. Let her sit there and soak in it. And then I get in, because I do have a decent body. I need to tone up, true indeed. But right now, my body is nice, straight up. I don't have a problem with taking off my shirt. You fat, you do. But I'll get in the bathtub with her and I'll massage her back, massage her feet, massage her legs, and then let her lay on my chest and ask her how her day was. I would wanna hear what she thinks, how she feels, her take on life. The stuff that you don't listen to, I would listen to. The stuff that you don't do, I would do. And that's the reason why I could take your woman if I wanted her. And then after that, I would lay her out on the bed, moisturize her skin with shea butter, massage her again, and then your woman would open her legs up to me. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> Has your woman ever squirted? Have you ever made your woman squirt? Have you ever been in a situation where you made your woman come multiple times? She's reached her climax. She's had multiple orgasms, but you, you didn't come. Have you ever made sweet love to your, your woman to the point where she started crying at the end? I have. You see, <laughs> y'all listen to them pimps out in the streets. Them pimps ain't worth nothing. Nothing. They don't know nothing about a woman. Yeah, they know how to control a weak person, a weak female. But they can never do the things that they do to a real woman. You see... If you were to say, if you were to ask a question, who's a real pimp, it's me. And I'm not saying I'm a pimp in the sense of I take women's money. I prostitute them. No, 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 no. I'm talking about I really have control over women. I can control a woman in the most positive way. Have you ever, listen to this. this I'm trying to drop some science on y'all and y'all not listen to what I'm saying. Because y'all are too egotistical, too hard-headed to get it. And for you all that are out there that are that way, guess what? I'll be sneaking out the back door of your house. That's real talk. 
That's real, real talk. So, I, I control a, a woman in a positive way. You know, just about every female, female that I've been with for long periods of time, they had a perm. And then months later, guess what? They cut it all off and grew a natural because they knew I didn't play that. Have you ever had your, your woman do your feet for you? Have you ever had your, your, your woman do your nails, scratch your hair? I've had that. Have you ever had your woman manicure your whole body? I've had women shave my pubic hair, my underarms and everything. Just, just, they want to satisfy me, me, because of the things that I do for them. I've never been kicked out, never, ever in my life. Even to, to the point where my mom, she didn't even kick me out. I ran away from home. Every relationship that I was in, true indeed, some of them were whores, some of them were not. Most of them were. You know, but every relationship that I were, was in, I never got kicked out. Never. I left. I had to leave. Have you ever been in a situation where a woman was on her knees crying, begging you not to leave? Have you ever done that? Has, has it ever been a situation like that for you? Because it has for me. Have you ever been in a situation where female is like, I've never gave blowjobs, but I want to give you one? You ever been in that situation? <laughs> so y'all want to pick on me, right? Oh, he worked for Postmates. Look at the, the boy talk, the boy talking about, you know, he he know women. He, Man, you work for Postmates. That's that's a side job, my man. And let me tell you something. Like, since we on the whole thing on Postmates and Uber Eats and DoorDash and all the rest of that, yo, y'all don't understand. You men out there, y'all don't understand. When I pick up that phone to call your old lady to let her know that I'm on the way to deliver her food, you just don't know how she's talking to me. When I when I arrive, you see it, cause I'm not a regular postmate dude. I, I I don't walk around with my butt crack showing, my pants hanging down, sagging, and all the rest of that. No 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 no. My mother taught me better. I iron my clothes inside out, outside in, spray starch. I make sure I'm shaved. I make sure that I look good. So when I show up, and I'm professional. When I show up at your old lady's house and I ring that doorbell and she opens that door up, you don't see the way that she looks at me and the way that I look at her. I could take your girl if I wanted her. I could take your woman if I wanted her. You see, let me, let me, let me put y'all on again. Let me put y'all up again. Y'all don't get it. Let me, let me just cover this up because I don't want y'all to know my name. First name, last name, then y'all y'all start getting real, you know, things start getting real spooky, you know? Got one of these? Do you have one of these? Y'all talking about your players? How the how do how in the hell y'all don't have a Victoria's Secret? Credit card. Y'all talking about your players. I'm putting I'm putting y'all up on game. I could take any woman's any man's woman basketball players rappers football players the, the president of the united states who i don't care i don't care and, and guess what it ain't it's not like <laughs> just black women look at me i see the woman i see the white woman i see the chinese i see them all <laughs> who would want me I'm not the biggest downstairs, but I, I pack a nice one. I want to thank you. I want to thank you. I want to thank my father right now. Thank you. Thank you for, for giving me that package. Because it works very well. I'll take your woman if I want. I'll do the things that you won't do. You don't pay attention to your, your woman. You wondering why you can't get a blowjob. I can get one at any given time. Let me let me let me put you up on another game. If you can't get Punani 
from your baby mama. Now, I'm not saying, I'm talking about real women. I'm not talking about ratchet chicks, because I know what y'all about to say. Y'all about to say, well, I wouldn't want no, nothing from my baby mama anyway, because she this, that, no. So I, no, 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 no. I'm talking about a real woman that goes to work, that got a college education and all the rest of that stuff. She, she owns her own business. She's productive. She's doing things in life. That's who I'm talking about. If you can't get Punani from your baby mama, from that woman, guess what? You are lame. You are lame. See, when I taught the woman, I'm truthful. How many kids you have? I got a couple. How many baby mamas you have? One. Do y'all get along? Yes. I would do anything for her and she would do anything for me. The moment I get to the top, guess what? She's going to be right there. Are you in your children's life? Yes. Hell yes. Are you gay? No. No, 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 no. I love women. I would never betray y'all. Period. See, I invite your, your woman over my house, right? And I cook for her. And it don't even matter. Yo, seriously, I, I, I don't, I, I'm not going to say that I would or wouldn't, but I don't eat meat. If your, your woman ate meat, I don't, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna say this for a fact that I would cook meat for her, but I know how to cook meat. When I was cooking meat, I was a pretty good cook. So I still know those old recipes. But that's besides the point. I can make some vegetarian food. I would turn your woman into a vegetarian. You wondering why, man, what, what, what's, what's happening? She, she stopped eating meat? <laughs> What's happening? She, she. Look at this. She's exercising now. What's going on? What, what's, what, what's happening? Why she's acting different? Wow, she never giving me a blowjob. How, how did she learn that? Thank me. Thank me. I'm the one that changed your girl. I'm the one that changed your woman. See, y'all think y'all know me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I went to like a white school, right? So I know the plays, you know, William Shakespeare, you know, Romeo and Juliet, you know, uh, uh, The Crucible, the book, uh, uh, what else? Uh, Lord of the Flies. <laughs> Frankenstein written by Mary Shelley. The Scarlet Letter. <laughs> the Iliad. <laughs> I know Edgar Allan Poe, Poe's poems. My favorite is the Telltale Heart. I know I have information. I have knowledge. I'm diverse. I'm diversified in knowledge. <laughs> so I'm not limited. I can be ghetto. I can talk ghetto and I can talk on some intelligent shit. See, at first, I was, I was just going to put this on my new channel. But I'm going to put it on both channels. My old one and my new one. You want to know why? Because I just want all you dudes to know that I would take your woman if I wanted her. So I suggest that you get up on your A-game. Because right now, your A-game ain't your A-game. It's a Z-game. It's the last letter in the alphabet. You better try harder. Literally. Make your man downstairs hard. Better start taking all that Viagra and stuff. You, some, you, are, <laughs> you better take you some maca powder. That take care of your ED problem. But, hey, listen. I don't know what to tell y'all. You know what I'm saying? All I know is the women love me and I love the women. The ladies love me and I love the ladies. And I would take your woman if I wanted her. I'm dead ass. You can see it in my eyes. Dead ass serious. Money is Langston Twin and 92. Like both channels. Subscribe to both channels. Share both channels. And did I forget anything? Comment on both channels. Y'all take it easy. One.